Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to share how you can upload an image into Cricut Design Space. What you're going to do is in your Canvas screen, you are going to come over here to the seventh button down and click Upload. From there, you're going to click Upload Image, and then you're going to locate the image that you want to upload into Design Space. So you can either drag or drop it, or you can click the Browse button. And once you do that, you'll just locate wherever the image um, you want to upload is located. I'm going to go ahead and click the one I would like and click open. Then once I do that, it's going to have me select an image type. I'm going to click complex and then I'm going to click continue. Now, if you do have an image that has, let me make this a little smaller, but if you do have an image that has um, a white background that you want to remove and it doesn't already have a transparent background, you can go over to this wand and click it. And then what it will do is it will allow you to click any area that is white and make it transparent. So it will turn it to that checkerboard look. And that means that whatever is um, checkered behind is going to be transparent. So that is clear. Now you're going to click continue. And then it's going to ask you how you would like to save the image. If you're intending to do a print then cut image, you are going to select print then cut. If you are uploading an image that is just a cut image, you are going to click cut. Because this image is a print then cut image, I'm going to save it as a print then cut image so that I have all of the detail and color. Otherwise, it's just going to save it as a cut image, which would just be the border and the outline, which is not what I want. So save as print then cut. I will click that and I will click save. Now I can find it in my recently uploaded images. I can go ahead and click it and click insert images and it will add it to my canvas screen so I can start working and designing with it. Now that the image is loaded in my canvas, I can go ahead and size it up or down appropriately for the craft that I have in mind and I can continue with my craft. I did purchase this file from Design Bundles and if you're interested in it, I will go ahead and link it in the description box below. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see what's coming to my craft table next and what we're gonna be working on, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful and have a wonderful day.